You know, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he actually said, he's reported to have said that in the ibadah, intizarul faraj. One of the best forms of worship is just waiting for an opening from Allah. You know when you're asking Allah for something and it's taking a while for the response to come? That prolonged period of time when you're waiting for the answer from Allah, this is a type of worship. It's a type of ibadah. You know why? Because those, these are those, these are the moments where a person gets closer to Allah, where a person feels like they're closer to Allah. So, many a times that prolonged period of waiting for an answer, this is a blessing in of itself. It's a blessing in of itself. And before that, even just giving the tawfiq to make dua to Allah, this is a huge blessing. Huge blessing. One of the great scholars of our tradition, Ibn Atta'illah, he actually tells us, Whenever Allah literally unshackles your tongue to call out to Him, then know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants good for you. If Allah gives you the tawfiq to make a dua to Him, this is a ni'mah and a blessing in of itself. Because this is a means of getting closest, closer to Allah. Now, the answer that comes to that dua, this is secondary. But the first primary thing that a person, the slave, gains from making dua to Allah is Allah's closeness. This is a blessing in of itself, something that we take for granted. You know, we humans, we get tired of being asked. Like even if a person is like rich and they have a lot of things, you know, if a person is coming to you every day asking for things, we get tired. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't get tired. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't get tired of the slave calling out to him and Allah giving. This is part of Allah. This is who Allah is.